Hello everyone, my name is Finan Entity and today I'm going to show you how you turn VRM blend shape clips into animator parameters in VSF Avatar. So right now we have a little uh, test model here. It's just a head with some eyes and the eyes have some blend shapes for closing so we can blink for an angry expression and for like a wide expression for like being surprised. Now, the usual issues uh, we run into with this setup is if we have a blink uh, blend shape clip like this and we want to combine it with being angry, what is going to happen is that the moment we blink, the blinking blend shape will either overshoot, in this case when we uh, are angry, or if we are surprised, it will just not close completely. Now, let's set it up so we can actually uh, blink correctly, no matter what kind of uh, eye shape we currently have. So first of all, uh, we're going into our root object and we are looking for the blend shape here. We click and it will pop up here. We click on blend shape down here and here's our blend shape editor. Now we're only going to set up the blink here. So you're here and we're going to close that. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to touch angry or whatever you're going to use to be surprised. We set that up in just a moment. Now <clears throat> to uh, have animator parameters, first we need to set up some empties. So I'm going to create an empty right here. I'm going to call this parameters. All right. And in there is another empty. So we make one for blink. I'm going to duplicate this. This one will be for angry. And the last, the, the last one is going to be for wide. Now we're going to select all of them. And we're going to add a VSF. Set animator float component. Now, this component allows us to set animator parameters on an animator we choose. Now, first we need an animator. So since we want to animate the eyes, the blend shape of the eyes, we're going to just add an animator right here. So animator, let's add it. There we go. And we're going to need a controller. So I'm just going to create a new folder for my animations animations there we go go on there and then i'm going to create create there should be an animator controller right so we call it eyes there we go and we drag it into the eyes so now our animator has the eyes controller right here so we're going to select our three parameters and we drag the eyes into the target animator. So they will directly target the animator in the eyes object. Now for blink, we set the parameter name to the same name. So blink, then an angry, set it to angry. And for wide, we set it to wide. There we go. Now, in the animator window, if you don't have that, you can go up here uh, into window, animation, and then the animator window. We want to edit the eyes down here. You can also click just this up here and it should show you this window. And we want to go into parameters. And now we're going to click this little plus. We're adding float and we call them the same way, blink. Then another one for angry. And then one last one for wide. All right. So next up, we need some other animations that are going to actually set these through the VSF set animator float script. So we go to eyes. Uh, actually. Go back to scene here for just a second. And I want to uh, start animating this one. So I'm just going to click create down here. That will automatically set up a controller for us. 
but this one will just be called blink underscore parameter. There you go. And we're going to create a new clip down here called angry underscore parameter. And then the last one, which is going to be the wide parameter. All right. So going, let's start with angry parameter. And then we go and click on the record button. We go to angry. And then we set the parameter value to one. That should record it down here. Then we switch over to the blink parameter and do the same thing for blink. Click on blink, set to one, should be recorded here. And then last one, wide parameter, wide, and we set it to one. So those animations will now set these values to one, which in turn sets the animator values to one. Now to actually have that, have it affected, we need to go back to our root object and add a VSF animations script here. We're going to add our three land shapes here. One was blink. Let's set the other one to angry. And for wide, let's just use joy. And then we're going to drag the animations that we just made, the parameter ones, where they belong. So angry parameter and angry. Blink parameter and blink, and white parameter and joy. All right. Now we're going to go into our eyes, and now we're going to create some animations for that. Specifically, we want one for angry, and we want one, one for wide. We don't actually need a blink animation, mainly because we already set up the blink animation in the VRM blend shape object already. So let's animate angry. To do that, we are just gonna click the record button again. And then we just set angry up here to 100. So we actually look angry. And then right after that, we're gonna set the frame here to one. We're just dragging this little head or setting this to one. And we're gonna set it back to zero. And you're gonna see why in just a moment. Now we do the same thing for wide, record, set wide like this. And then on the next frame, we bring it back like this. All right. So we can stop recording. Now our animations are set up and we're going to back into the animator. And we already have angry and wide in here. But what we're actually going to do, we're going to have these in different layers. So we have our base layer here, which we can use uh, for... Actually, let's let's remove these. I usually like to work in extra layers. So angry. Now you just click the little plus and then type the name. And then don't forget to click the little gear icon and set the weight to one. Otherwise, your animation will not show up. And the same here, wide gear weight to one all right now on angry we want to have an empty state so this basically does nothing but give us like a a null state so to speak where nothing happens and then we're gonna drag in our angry animation right here then we right click state Click on make transition, click on angry, right click, right click angry, make transition, click the state over here, and then clicking the little transition going from new state to angry. In the inspector, we're gonna add a little condition, and we set this if angry is greater than zero, so our angry. Uh, animation will play when we are actually angry. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And then the other one, going from angry to new state, we set the condition to be 
angry less than one. All right. Now with this set up, let's go actually go into angry and we are going to look for motion time and click on the little parameter checkbox. And this should be already set to blink. If it isn't, set it to blink. And what that basically does is right now when we are angry, blink will be set to blink will be zero as long as we don't blink. But once we blink, the whole thing will be set to one, which means it will access the first frame of angry, which we actually set to not be angry anymore. <laughs> basically, when, when we don't blink, it plays the first frame, which is frame zero. And if we blink, it plays frame one, which is the frame we set up to not uh, set the angry uh, blend shape frame or set it to zero. So whenever we blink, angry won't actually be active and we get a nice clean blink. Now that we do the same for wide. So first off, create state empty. And then we drag in wide. And we make our transitions. Left to right condition. Wide is greater than zero. And right to left conditions. If wide is less than one. All right. And then in wide, motion time, and we have it set to blink. All right. With that, uh, we should actually be good to go already. So let us see if this actually exports. Actually, before we uh, export this, we need to make very sure that both our angry and wide and probably for security, all our animations, right, this doesn't work with multi, are not looped. This is very important because Unity is very weird with uh, using motion time and looped animations. So just make sure you turn off loop before you export. All right, and here we are in VC face. I have my regular blink, like we set it up in the VRM blend shapes. And now when I go angry, if it actually wants to, oh, there we go. If you go angry, I can blink and it does not overshoot because it undoes the angry blend shape as we blink. And the same for wide, I can go wide and the blinking still works. All right. I hope this helps you and I see you guys next time. Bye bye.